Hola, ¿cómo están? Yo soy Eli, bienvenidos a este coqueto canal. El día de hoy vamos a hacer un simulacro de la entrevista que te hace en inglés la agencia. Para esto quiero darles muchísimo las gracias a todos los que participaron en el post de Facebook en donde les preguntaba cuáles habían sido las preguntas que les había hecho a ustedes la agencia. También voy a utilizar las preguntas que me hicieron a mí cuando hice mi entrevista. Antes de empezar, quiero aclarar que las entrevistas son completamente diferentes. Esto va a depender del país, de la agencia, de quién te haga la entrevista. Así que puede que las preguntas que yo te haga aquí no vayan a ser exactamente las mismas que te van a preguntar en tu entrevista. Pero voy a tratar de cubrir la mayor cantidad de preguntas para que ustedes se sientan más preparadas al momento de hacer la entrevista. Así que vamos a empezar. ¿Cómo va a funcionar este simulacro? Bueno, de este lado voy a poner a Eli entrevistadora que va a ser mi otro yo, quien va a estar haciendo las preguntas como si fuera la persona de la agencia y yo voy a ser la candidata a Uber que va a contestar esas preguntas. Así que comencemos. Hello Ellie, how are you? Hi, I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you very much for asking. So tell me, do you have any brothers or sisters? Yes, I have one brother and his name is Luis Enrique. Oh, that's very interesting. And how old is your brother? My brother is 31 years old. Oh, that's great. Can you tell me what did you do last weekend? Yeah, sure. On Saturday, we traveled from my city to the city where my grandma lives. We went to her house to visit her, to visit my grandparents and also my aunt that lives there. And we were eating and playing games and having fun. And then on Sunday, we went to a baseball game. My brother plays baseball, so we went to see him. That was really fun. Then we ate together and traveled again uh, to our city. And where did you learn to speak English? Well, I started studying English at school. I remember my first classes were at high school and then at university. I had to study four years English at university, so that's where I learned most of all my English. Can you tell me more about you and your friends? Do you have a best friend? Yes, I have some friends from high school. I actually met my best friend at high school and would like to go to drink some coffee or to eat desserts. He is really nice, his name is Isaac and we like to go outside to drink a cup of coffee or sometimes we just go out to have some something to eat and I also have some friends from university, they are really nice. Sometimes we don't see each other very often because they are working so sometimes it's hard to find time to go out but we like to talk to each other very frequently so we can know how we are and also if we are having some trouble we can just trust each other so yeah it's really nice. And what do you like to do in your free time? Well, in my free time, I love running. I really like going outside and enjoying the nature. I think it's a really good activity so you can relax and go outside. And I also like movies and TV shows. I also love reading. I like to watch reviews at YouTube. There are people that it's a community called Booktube. They talk about books and I like to see the reviews. So that way I can decide which one is going to be my next book. Book. So I really like to spend time in my computer watching videos on YouTube, it's really fun. Also sometimes I like to uh, look for some pictures or something that I can use to decorate my room or to decorate uh, maybe my phone. So yeah, that's, that's what I like to do in my free time. Oh, so you like movies. Can you tell me which one is your favorite movie? Well, that's a hard question because I like a lot of movies, so it's difficult to choose just one. But uh, what can I say? One of my favorites, I think, are all the Harry Potter movies. I'm a really big fan of Harry Potter. I love all the books and I also like The Fall in Our Stars. Well, it's also from my favorite book because one of my favorite books is The Fall in Our Stars by John Green. So I really like the movie. Uh, it's really emotional yeah I think I have a lot of favorite movies but I think those are my favorite ones oh that's great that's very interesting what did you study oh I'm a civil engineer I studied at the University of my city and I already finished and when you finish your year as au pair do you want to keep studying or do you want to work well when I finish my year as au pair What I want to do is to keep studying. I would like to do a master's degree. I'm still not sure which master's degree I'm going to choose because I have some options, but I'm definitely going to keep studying when I return from being an au pair. All 
Alright, so now let's talk about your experience taking care of kids. Can you tell me more about this? Yes, I started my experience taking care of kids in a summer course when I was like 15 years old. I was a teacher of a summer course. Uh, we used to do some craft ideas and also I was a teacher of mathematics, English and sports sometimes so that's where I started uh, with my experience taking care of kids and I also was in another summer course it was a dance studio so I was not a teacher because <laughs> I don't know how to dance at all but uh, what I was doing in there was taking care of the kids uh, being sure that they were safe and so that's what my experience started with kids and also my other experience was with my nephew he used to live with us in my house with my mom and my dad um, my brother used to live with us for a, a while so my nephew was just newborn and I helped taking care of him until two years old, until he was two years old so that was my experience with a baby and yeah I think that's, that's the experience that I have with kids and for example, if a kid is feeling sick, what would you do? The first thing I would do is to ask to the kid where is he feeling sick, like if it's the tummy or the throat or the eyes, I don't know which part of the body is hurting him. So depending on the answer of the kid and also if I see that it's something really serious, what I would do, if it's something really really serious, I would call 911 or if it's something that is not that serious what I would do is to call to the parents to ask them what to do and maybe he just needs to go to home to take a rest or if it's necessary to take him to the doctor so that's what I would do so now let's imagine that you are at the park and you are with your host kid and then your host kid is playing and then he fell down on the ground and he starts bleeding what would you do? The first thing I will do is to check if it's something really serious to call 911 immediately because maybe he broke his arm or it's something really serious, that's what I would do. But if I see that he is just bleeding but maybe it's not that serious that maybe I just need to take him to the doctor, I will do that, take him to the doctor and call the parents to tell them what happened. But if I see that it's not necessary to take him to the doctor because nothing serious happened, what I would do is just call the parents so they can tell me what to do. Let's imagine that you are at the house with your host kids and then you start smelling something, you go to the kitchen and you see that there is fire. What would you do? If I see that there is fire in the house, what I will do is just first of all taking the kids with me and going outside of the house in a safe place and when we are safe, what I would do next will be to call 911 and tell them that there is fire in the house so the next thing will be to talk with the parents and tell them what is going on but first of all is that we need to be in a safe place with the host kids and after that calling 911 and after that uh, talking to the parents so we can be safe um, yeah so that's what I would do I think it's very important to know what to do in those situations now let's imagine that you are also at the house and then your host kid uh, fell down from the stairs, what would you do then? If he fell down, what I would do is first of all to check if he's okay if I see that something serious happened that he's not answering to me that he broke something I will call immediately 911 so they can help us but if I see that he's okay that he's answering okay that he didn't break any part of his body what I will do first is to call the parents so they can tell me what to do if it is necessary to take him to the doctor immediately or if I need to wait for the parents so that's what I will do but if I see that is something really serious that he is not answering to me, that he broke something, that he's bleeding really bad. What I would do first of all is to call 911 and tell them what happened. 
So now tell me more about what kind of activities will you do with your host kids inside and outside of the house? The activities that I really like to do inside the house I think are craft ideas. I really like uh, doing this with kids because I think it's really good for them and for the mind. So I will do some activities with paper, with colors, with crayons, with paint inside the house and the activities outside the house can be maybe a picnic it could be uh, playing soccer or playing another sport and also playing in the swing set and maybe we can play with bubbles outside I think it depends on the age that the host kids have which kind of activities is better but I think it's good to be outside to keep them running so they can take the energy out so I think those are the activities that I will do outside the house So now tell me what could you prepare for breakfast for your house kids? The breakfast I could do for my house kids will be maybe some oatmeal and some cereal and it is important to add a glass of milk and also some fruit I think we can just cut uh, pieces of apple, pieces of strawberry to add to the breakfast and also some banana so yeah I think that's the breakfast I will do for them and what kind of activities will you do with a baby? the activities I will do with a baby could be uh, playing some music I think the music is really important for babies and also talking to them often so they can develop their language and also using these toys that have a lot of colors and that the baby can touch these toys that have different textures so he can feel different things I think it is important for the development of a baby to see a lot of colors and to feel different textures from these toys and also it is really important to talk to them often so they can recognize voices and also they can recognize his or her own name so it is important to talk to them and the music is really important and also to sing to them uh, I'm not the best singer, I can, I can say that but I think it is important to sing to the kids, especially babies and can you describe me step to step how to change the diaper of a baby? The first step is to clean the baby with a wipe. It is really important that there is nothing left, so we need to check that we clean really well. And then you take the dirty wipe and the dirty diaper out, and then you put the new diaper, the clean one, below the baby, and then you put some cream, and then you close the new diaper, and that's it. That's great, and do you know that you can study in the US when you are being au pair? Yes, I know that we can study in the US being au pair. And um, what would you like to study in the US? If it is possible, I would like to study something related to my career. And also, I think it could be great to study photography, some, maybe some course and also English. I would like to study English in the US because I think it is important to keep improving and yeah, that's it. And what would you like to do when you finish your year as au pair? When I finish my year as au pair, I would like to come back to my country to keep studying. So yeah, my idea is to get a master's degree when I come back from my year as au pair. And now could you tell me why did you decide to become an au pair? Well, I decided to become an au pair because I think it is a great opportunity to know another culture and also to improve my English because I think it is a great opportunity to hear native people speaking in English so I can get more the accent and also to keep improving. I think there's no better way to learn about life than traveling and knowing new places, knowing new people. I think traveling is amazing because you can meet people from other cultures, other countries, other parts of the world, especially in the US. So I think I can learn a lot from this experience. So that's why I decided to become an au pair. So now let's imagine that you are already in the US, that you are an au pair and you are with your host family but you start feeling sad, you start missing your family in your home country what would you do to feel better of being homesick? what I could do is to keep doing the things that I love for example running, reading, going to the library I think those activities make me really happy so that's what I will do 
That's great. I think it is important to know what to do when you are feeling sad so you can have a good experience as au pair. So now let's talk about your experience driving. Can you tell me more about this? Yes, I learned to drive some years ago and I used to drive uh, daily to my work and also go back to my home to my work. So yeah, that's my experience that I have driving. Let's imagine that you are an au pair and you are taking care of a baby and a two-year-old. So can you tell me step by step what will you do to take the baby and the two-year-old inside the car? What I go do first is inside the house uh, to put the baby inside the car seat and when the baby is safe in the car seat I will take it with one hand and with the other hand I will take the other host kit so I will go to the car with both of them and then I will put uh, the car seat uh, beside me in a safe place and then I will open the door and I will put the two year old inside the car seat so now that he is safe I will close the door and then I will put uh, the car seat inside with the baby because if I put first the baby Baby inside the car maybe the other host kid can run and that is really dangerous that's why I need to put first the two-year-old and keeping that the baby is safe and then the baby inside the car so now the last question is what are you looking for in a host family? I'm looking for a host family in which I can feel part of them, that I'm part of the family and I also think it could be good to have a family with which I can talk about me and how was my day and about the host kids and also I would like to do some activities with them that I can feel comfortable so yeah that's what I'm looking for in a host family Alright, so that was everything for this interview. Y bueno, esto fue todo por este video, espero que les haya gustado muchísimo. No dudes reproducirlo las veces que necesites hasta que ya te sientas segura. Yo espero que algunas de las preguntas que estén aquí te puedan servir y sean de utilidad para el momento de tu entrevista. Te deseo muchísima suerte y si este video te gustó me ayudarías muchísimo con un like y también dejándome aquí abajito en los comentarios qué otro tipo de videos les gustaría ver en el canal. Les dejo también por aquí mis redes sociales, les mando un beso enorme, recuerden que Dios los bendiga dice mucho y los veo en el siguiente video. Bye.